I've repaired some uh, uh, breaches back along that upper trench royal, I might call it, the, the, the highest one. And because of that, the water is coming much stronger. Uh, now, I, was, I wasn't here watching close, and since there was so much water, uh, when it breached, it, it did it more violently. Uh, I'm going to fix these. There's one. Uh, here, here was one that was quite strong. And uh, you, you see, you see, it seems to have actually cut down. It what it's doing is it's taking the finest of the soil. I sure don't want to call it topsoil. It's, but it's, it's carrying it down and making those deltas. There's one, two, three. Now it'll stop once I once I get it so it doesn't breach or it only breaches where I want it to. But I had enough water now so that I finished this one out uh the the uh that that old stone wall together that with that tree kind of stopped it so i have to drop it some here unless i use a pipe to carry it around it and now it's running down there into the wheel pit so i'll repair those and uh show you what that then looks like i would not want to lose soil that's that fine not here which i'm describing as a stone face underneath that there and there and there and I'm not losing it what I'm doing is I'm just adding it to the uh, to the breast and and I'm going to use my hoe let me get my hands in it there you see how fine that is and and what a separation it is as opposed to the bigger stuff that's being left behind here's my shutoff valve right there and that'll stop the water it'll build up and it'll it'll brim oh all the way back really and and it'll breach in places but then I'll go along and fix them in a similar way and gain a millimeter of height maybe in the process but anyway I shut it off because I there, I got enough water coming now that it, it can do a little bit more destruction than I'm interested in I'm not trying to make the back cut, I think is what modern guys that work in water would call that. The, I'm not trying to make it pure stone, but it, it's so thin that that uh, topsoil, or I'll call it topsoil, the, the uh, silt that, that runs down and collects in the, uh, in the, in the zanja, it gathered up on the breast of the zanja, zanja, it can actually have a chance to root and, and do a little something, and maybe send vines up the stone face, I don't know. I'm on a completely different part of the farm now. This is the west, the west meadow. And that's what a drop structure really should look like when it's not carrying silt. And you see, this is going across stone uh, subsoil that is so hard it, it's not eroding it and so where it drops it's clean 